Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be doing gardening 101. Basically, we're trying to put up a fence, as you can see, and the fence people, they've left a bunch of soil all over the show. So we're going to be doing our first foundation kind of work, carrying the soil and putting them in these uh, bags. For this episode, we're using uh, gardening gloves. She's actually the expert, so she's actually going to tell me what to do. So what we're going to do actually is we've got three bags over here and we've got our shovels and we're going to basically be shoveling up our soil, excess soil that they've plonked all over our lawn into these bags and we've put them to one side and hopefully maintain the aesthetics of this gorgeous garden that we have. It's taking the shovel and just kind of like remove the covering soil and you can see the grass appearing from underneath it to restore the land how it looked like before look at all the grass that's underneath the soil so now get that light layer that I've just removed and take it on and these are just basic garden bags from Bunnings so just like Ash, I've also got a little pile over here which is encroaching on our driveway. So what I'm doing is just taking off the top soil, that's the extra soil, just so I can reveal the nice grass underneath. And I'm just skimming the surface and placing it into my local garden bag. And you really want to make sure that your garden bag doesn't get too full because you do have to remember that you need to carry it afterwards to another location. So be mindful of how much you're putting in. It's very tempting to fill them up. putting it into the bag. Oh yeah. Soil is being lifted to unveil the grass. Gorgeous. Look, just check this out. That dirty brown soil is revealing a gorgeous patch of green grass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So in hindsight, probably what we should have done to avoid all this manual labor is had we kind of had the foresight to know that they were going to make little piles of soil around the place, we probably would have put some tarpaulin down and then got them to put the soil on top of the tarpaulin so it's a lot easier for us to just collect it and chuck it in the bin or reuse it somewhere else because right now we're just uh, busting our backs for this uh, situation. It's good, good work though. How are you feeling? I'm enjoying it. I'm really, yeah, it's so much fun. You're loving it, aren't you? I like that it's working. You want to fill it up. You can spread it if you want. If, it, if you think that's good, then you can spread it. No, I don't think there's a right way for any of this stuff. You just do what you do. So Nora's just right now, she's raking the land, spreading the soil evenly across the, the land. Previously, we had a slight, a slight slope coming in this way. So rather than just collecting rather than just throwing away all the soil we'll plan on like re-harvesting it in the sloped areas to make the land more even I'm giving it a rail kick oh, there you go look at that put the shovel slightly underneath and then just kick it in. And then level it over. This one, it looks scary, but it's just for the sprinkler. And our sprinkler system has been defunct for like 10 years. It doesn't lead to anything. So I'm not worried about that. And that's the last piece of the brick. Good work, Ash. Over here, what I'm doing is just taking some of this excess soil that we've got, which is good quality, avoiding the cement, and I'm just placing it over the areas where we haven't had grass growing here for some time, because what we're gonna end up doing is give it a decent amount of top soil, and then we'll get some grass seeds, and we're gonna just grow it again. So we've got that luxurious looking green grass, and also this helps just to level out the area as well, because we do have a bit of a slope. So we're going to have a gorgeous looking front yard very soon. A 
Oh, wow, just look how good that rake is. Good going, Ash. You, I can see that you're getting rid of all of the big stones there and you're having the nice fine topsoil over the top, revealing that gorgeous grass that we can see underneath. It looks beautiful. It's like a nice healthy bit of soil over there. Good work. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch up with you next time when we do the rest of the. Tea break.